It's Catch 22 Radio on GMTRadio.com. Okay. And I just want to say one of my cousins when I said that he was coming, she told me to tell him that she need her bra sign. Her bra, her bra, her bra. I don't know why she said she need a bra sign. If you know what size bra it is. <laughs> Are you discriminating on bra sizes now? If it's big, you gotta be big enough for autographs. Okay, yeah, you're right, you're right. <laughs> she no, no, I'm like, I'm I'm saying, like, wait a minute. <laughs> now, with this. Yes. Yo. He's an SUC legend. Yo. He done made you put your hands up. Hey. He letting you know that the South Side still holding. Yo. And he's still swinging and banging them hits out the city. Yo. We got ESG in the building. Man, we really excited to have you here. I, I, I'm, I'm really, I've been listening to ESG since I was young, and I didn't even know I was listening to ESG exactly until I came. Yeah, my very first Houston song that I knew word for word was Rainy Rain. Yeah, Friday Monsoon. Yeah, Friday Monsoon. That's real. That's real. That's real. I appreciate that love. That's, that's what keeps you motivated. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, man. Keep you going. Now, what's been going on with you, man? Oh, uh, man. Constant work, constant work, though. We on the road almost every weekend between the. Uh, me and Flip got a freestyle Kings tour we've been doing. Uh, me, him, and Lakeiki working on the project. And we just sound signs to hold it. So we got to. You stay gone all the time. You got the movement dropping June 27th. Ooh, uh, come Sunday in Houston with everybody from H Town on that bar. Uh, uh, Caleb Johnson is a great actor, upcoming actor from Houston. Y'all be looking for me and my dog Spring to direct that. And then we got uh, a screw fence tour. Ooh, me, Lil Flip, Lil Kiki, Big Foggy, everybody, the whole issue. Oh, yeah. uh, we got the remix to Southside Still Holy. Yeah, the video drop is June 27th. Uh, we features me, Bun B, Lil Flip, Lil O, uh, Trillip O. Uh, that boy T, and we got the outside still holding on that slip good, so I'm busy. Yeah, no. You real busy, I like that. That's a lot of no comedy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't throw that in there, but you know, it is what it is. All right, so you said something about the original Freestyle Kings. Who was the, who was the first Freestyle Kings? I know Flip was one, yeah. and then you was one. How did that work out, man? See, at Screw House, we never used the term Freestyle Kings. Okay. okay. That came from, like, Sony putting that, putting that, they promotion uh, twist on Flip for them. And then once people just start saying it, outside people will say it. But to me and Makiki, you know, now I know, yeah, ain't nobody in the world that can mess with me freestyle. You know, okay. Okay. I mean, yeah, people who really know, no, no, yeah. no, 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 But Makiki is great, the flip is great, you know, they all great. But to me, my favorite freestyle are those fat pants. Fat pants, you know what I'm saying? Like, people don't understand the whole way of talking. That was a school way of talking. That's right. Fat Pat. All that man, Fat Pat was just a big fly cat. He was dark skinned and he never had a dark skinned girlfriend. He was gonna always have a light skinned girlfriend. Now, right. His word was bad as jealous. Uh, you know, and, and when Pat would talk, he'd be like, man, hold up, man. See, baby, look, this is what you do. Yeah. <laughs> the boys talk it down. All that you hear, no, I'm talking about. That's that Fat Pat lingo. That was the lingo that. You know, issues he kind of blew up with, you know what I'm saying? Now, for like lyrical stuff and content, that's what I, I've been writing stuff for Kid. You know, I saw that letter. And uh, so I came in with that way of yeah. lyrical content and song structure. I took Fat Man to the studio back then. We tried to do two songs. He worked right at the time. He mm -hmm. just freestyled. But when we was recording back then, it was on reels. Yeah. You could mess up. So if you mess up, your whole studio session is over. Ooh, you know what I'm saying? So you would have to pay. Oh, yeah, you have to pay another hundred dollars for the hour. Then you got to pay another hundred and eighty dollars for the reel that you record on. So I used to try to teach them structure and song format. You know what I'm saying? Before it's just freestyle. The keys to me always would be uh uh you feel bad. The key keep the feel. Oh, he is great, but he don't really freestyle. You only lie with his word back, you don't really freestyle. Zero is a monster, right. but he don't really, really freestyle that much, you know what I'm saying? But, so that was the king play. So how did you end up meeting Patty School, man? Man, look, I chased my dreams since a child. Uh, I'm originally from Logan, into Louisiana, a small town right outside of New Orleans. Mm -hmm. I attended USL and Lafayette majored in communication. So when I was in Lafayette, all my homies, my dad lived in Houston, but all my homies come to H-Town all the time. 
different reasons. <laughs> so when we would come, for me to chase my dreams in music, that was no outlet for me while I was in. You know, and I would make these tapes and, and, and people would dub my tape. They would dub like it was like 30 some people playing one tape that I made, a freestyle tape. Mm -hmm. This before school house. So when we was coming out here, we listened to school tape. So my homeboy had to say, man, you need to go and go over there, man. Rick one time. Boom. I went over there. I had my wax already done. Uh, which was my very, very first single that I ever put on wax. Uh, and it ain't one thing to another. And I gave that to school. And my school heard me rap. He was going away. He had heard people rap, but he had never heard nobody that could come and rap about everything that's going on right there. So my homeboy took me to every neighborhood. Right. On the south side. Yeah. He rolled 20, I never get 27 switches. Cause we smoke back though. Yeah. <laughs> he had a long ass on swings. Jay Wright. We went to every major dope bar. And he told them, look, this dude right up in the he is a monster. One of y'all need to put some money behind So we went to every every neighborhood. And I get out and I freestyle. About a month later, the whole South Side talking about it. You know what I'm saying? So Prince my Park was one of the spots where I wanted to move in there. That's what Fat Bad Home, that's what the Night the Bulls all home. So everybody that you hear us rap about and talk about this song Diddy and I was right there at the KK. All of us at the very beginning, you know, uh, Kiki wasn't even right. Kiki was rapping, but he was younger than us. So he wasn't even right there at that time. You know, the Pope was playing football. And everybody just came and met, met each other right there on the south side. Then we all started going to school house. Wind up there at the same time. Oh, me, by the boat, me, me, oh, me, Reynolds Benson, this person, Grace. Oh, all the people great. Wood, all of us, the early people, Big Demo. You just had to be a screw out, so you'd be like, oh, this this Big Oh, what's up, Big Oak? I'm so and so, so and so, da da da. Mutual friends keep bringing each other there. So now you got Stig One saying, hey, I'm finna go to school house. I got Pink coming, I got Kiki coming, I got everybody coming. You know what I'm saying? That's how it is, how we all just be. Wow, that's so, so, so you keep bringing up Big Oak. <laughs> And we had a standing debate. We did. Uh, we did. And we put a poll up on our Facebook and on our Instagram. Do y'all ever argue of who had the hardest verse on me? No, not, not me. Not, I don't, when I do songs, I never put myself in the competition mode. Mm -hmm. I never have nothing. That takes away from the creativity. Right. Really That's cool. why when people go to the studio, when Pac and I went to the studio, I, you know, I'm, I'm a student of the game. They didn't worry about who went first. Right. You all just did your first. Right. Now, when a person is more uh, trying to worry about that part of the game, it just it just it breaks up the camaraderie. That's when you in the studio, you have somebody there. We got three people. Somebody got to go. So you gonna have two people that's gonna sit over here and not wanna go. What's your first sound like? I don't wanna know what nobody's first sound like. I don't wanna know what the name of the song. That's how I go, you know what I'm saying? I don't care that first, you know what I'm saying? You do, you know. But I don't know if you get to the first. I ain't worried about that. You know, the public don't understand that. You know, for sure. If 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 I say I agree, which I don't, because it's all even. Yeah. Next thing you know, all on Instagram, me and you was hanging on big phone. Yeah, that's how it was so great. So, you know, my way of my way of thinking that is love for everybody. Yeah, you got to line with me. You know, you know, <laughs> you know, it's love for everybody, you know what I'm saying? Yo, both of you that brother. Yeah. You know. Uh man, I remember we made the song up, right? We had we had Rick Show. And we we what was he? So we like, man, man, let's do a song called Man. Man. You know, that's how we came up with the song, replays of both. I had a song at the same time called This is the exact hook that I wrote. I say, bling bling. Yeah, we ride down with the car, there's a team. Yeah, bling, bling. And everybody in the studio like, now, nah, don't do no shit like that. You don't know, sound like you from New Orleans. I said, I said, I'm from the boat. <laughs> Six months later, bling, bling. Every time I ride around, you see the boat. Like, shh. That was the first time. That was the first time. That is nuts, man. So is there any song that, that you wish you would have done that you didn't, you didn't, you didn't record or you didn't put out? I, I wrote the hook for the Ball. Mm -hmm. I taught Big T that song for me. I made it up off of Usher. I was riding with Usher, had the, my way. Yeah. That's how I made up the whole hook for him. Ball up. 
I made it up, I talked to him. I never knew him right here. Shout out my phone, all my cameras. I was in a black deal hunter. I had a rental car. That was the first time I was young, you know what I'm saying? It, it, it was hard to get rid of car back then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I had me a rental car, I got me a pretty car back then. Oh, hey, hey, I had me a black deal once, that was clean. Peanut butter inside. I talked BT that hook. Like, me and him, you know, we just didn't see each other for a while. But I'm at Ray Shop. I've already told them, I'm going to have I done sung the hook to them. Right. I done sung it to them. Yeah. We, had, we had a studio. They said, say, man. Hey, I come up, I'll come to the studio. They said, say, man. They just play this, that who you got on the radio. And we turn on that, I said, man, they play this song four times in the book. Yeah. I go pray. I'm ready to kill something. Where he at? Where he at? So when I catch him, by the time I catch him, Detroit, Detroit, like, he Detroit didn't know nothing about it. It wasn't right. his fault. You know, he really he didn't know nothing about it. He was playing the beat. Big T came by them, and Big T just started slanging that up. Mm. That's how they got that up. You know, so, you know, it, they wind up falling out. Big T didn't get whatever he had. They had some legal problems behind it, so that was just God saying, you want your ears know what Yeah, right. for real. You know, yeah, so I used to be 10 by 8 years. I don't mind that. <laughs> but that's how good that, you know, it was my fault. Yeah. It was my fault, my mistake. I taught somebody something that I shouldn't have taught them until I was in the studio for me. Right. God just showed me, don't do it like that. Uh, yeah, yeah, now you just had a performance. Recently. That's all the time. Yes, what was it? Saturday or Friday? Friday. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I was there for 420. Yeah. Yeah, shout out Young Easy, man. Shout out to Young Easy, you know. Um, um, it was a good little look, you know, it's kinda of like artist showcase, uh, just a 420. You really can't say 420 in Houston. And you can't advertise and promote my career for regular 420. Right. Doing the cat difficult we all be locked up. Right. <laughs> but, uh, we, we had a we had a uh, organized good 420 you know what I'm saying? Yeah, my boy, he's a performer, man. He's a young enough coming on. He's you know, like 18 years old. We got a couple of Spanishes together from the North Central, North Side. And so my boys came to perform from uh, Louisiana for my hometown. Uh, snatch game. My boy JK, he signed with Sound Lady. So it was good. We had a great time. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. She told me about South Side. I said, oh, we can't speak to you. We did. That's sweet. So do you listen to the new artists? Of course. I listen to the radio. You know, a lot of people don't listen to the radio. Man, I'm competitive. I'm yeah. I have to know what's going on. Like, I have about six artists that I'm working with. Mm-hmm. I don't have a label. My label's on the me. I I don't want no label. So each artist that I make work with, like I make work with Trip Pro, I make work with JK. But every artist is their own boss. I don't want no money that's supposed to come to you to come to me first. Yeah. I let each one, Young Easy, you start working with them. Here you go. Oh, what do you want to do? You go back. You get your own distribution. You give your bank account. Money comes directly to you. Nobody's ever done that. And that's why. The momentum is getting so big and strong because I'm teaching artists to not bump your head mm. the way I bump my head. But you gonna work harder because you know your money coming to you. Yeah. It's not coming to EZ then to you. So that's you know that's kind of how I'm doing. It's kind of umbrella. You know, I'm just like some policy. And that's your record label that you run now? Or? Yeah, the umbrella. The umbrella. That, that's well. You know, that's I how think that's do. hard, man. We was talking about that as far as. You know, older artists embracing younger artists, right? You know, you know, showing them the ropes and saying, "Hey, you know, hey, I made a mistake here. Don't do this." Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. I mean, for the younger artists to listen, you know, a lot, a lot of them get that, get that cloud and feel like I ain't gotta listen to you because exactly. you know, wow. you're older. I, that is so amazing because that's one of the the criteria that we use on picking who we have to work with. Right? You know, we try to work with you. You, you could be, you could be my brother if you don't listen and, and don't want the help. You have to just go walk your head yourself. Right. You know what I'm saying? And right. what happens is they don't listen. And then for a few months they try to sit that way and they're like, hey man, let's do this. It's about to feel what's You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. That's how it is with game. Like, people value, if hip hop people do not value, you're supposed to value hip hop and music on the art first. Yeah, I agree. If you do not judge a person by art first, if you automatically judge them on financial status, you are never going to, you don't have a real uh, opinion to me, but you're never going to matter in this game. Because right. you're in the game for the money. Uh-huh. And so many young artists want to skip the, the, the work yeah. and feel that they are entitled just because Rich the Kid is getting 30, 40, 50 dollars a show. 
So once they just, they just, the whole creativity goes out the window. Right. You know, the essence of hip hop goes out the window. Now it's about, oh, I'm here. 20, 30, 40 bands a show. Here with somebody before me said, here with this person right. said, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, that's just how it is. Yeah, I asked a question to an artist uh, last time, and I was like, if you knew that you wasn't going to make a million dollars, would you still do music? Mm -hmm. Like, is your heart in music or is your pockets in music? Right, right. You know what I mean? That makes a difference between how you work and how you network or how you artistically just make us home. Exactly. Exactly. Now, when you when you first start, you have to have the love for people. Yeah. That's how you When you become a big audience and you accumulate more, more bills, then you have to pay more attention to your financial status and, 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 and that, read that way. Uh -huh. But, that's why we have so many rappers now, because they see uh, uh, black youngster. Yeah. Uh -huh. They see you, they young boy, got $50,000 in jewelry, they got money, they showing a million dollars on Instagram. That's all they want. Yeah. They don't want the hard work. They don't want to the, the, have to work at Subway to try to uh, go to college and try to do this. Thing. They don't want that part of the work. Right. They just want the winning. Right. And you know what I'm saying? When, you know, I don't have them bad toward them, but when you just want the winning, Make that beats come out of me, but I have to show you what you mean. Yes. Yeah. Right. So yeah. it's a hard form first. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. Like, like, you know, it's a lot of young artists that was coming up in the New York areas and they was disrespecting that they believed in the Jay Z's and the Don's and mm -hmm. and then every now and then they just have to come out and fight them and show yeah. them like how they sit down and head back down. <laughs> <laughs> so how do you feel about the culture in Houston? Is it still the same thing or you think that the younger artists feel like they have to change it and make a new sound for Houston? See. I'm not going to say this one artist, but there's an artist for example. When I first heard the CD, it was all bashing the culture. Right. After three, four years, that artist came out with CD. He was all talking about the culture. All right. So when, when I look at that, I'd be like, you can't escape real. Yeah. Now, Travis Scott moved from Houston. He was in ATL, LA, he found TIEs, and so he created a different sound. Yeah. He had his own sound. Now, I love what, I mean, I listen to everything. There's a lot of young artists I listen to. I, when somebody give me something, I listen to everything because I'm different. That's just how it makes me work. I don't want the same all the time. Right. I want to hear something different. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Right? But when the artist's main subject matter or, 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 or his whole marketing scheme is to, this got to be the new music. Mm -hmm. This got to be a new way. Right. Do you the first go that you bump your head? Cause you can't be new without, you can't just go, you go build a house, you're still gonna use the wood and the material that they have been using for 50, 60 years. That's true, yeah. Right. That's you feel what I'm saying? True. So that's how I look at it with new one. I listen to it, but if you just so bent on skipping the culture, you can't do it. Cause I, we, 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 we embedded this culture into every young black and Hispanic and some white minds in the South. That's true, that's true. You, that's we true. have invented, we have worked for that culture. We went city to city, put the posters, the CDs, kissing ass, da 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 da, da. <laughs> yeah, We didn't have Instagram, we didn't have none of that. Right. You know what I'm saying? So they feel with the strength back. That's why you get so many all of them. All these followers. Mm -hmm. But it can't equivalent to financial gain. Right. Because they took this part of the game series. Right? Yeah. You know, that celebrity she can only last so long. Every time one of them hot models come off, love me about that first year, yeah. if you look on this, she's booked everywhere. Yeah. About two, three years now, we're giving that. Right, that's true. You, you, you have to create stuff to stick, you know. So when new artists come in, I salute them. You know what I'm saying? I rock with the music. I was rocking this dance song up there. I rock with everybody. That's just me. The last thing on that, you know, I made the case from the speakers. Last thing on that is, say real. This is a room full of. This is an upcoming artist. We in here right now. A new artist walks in. Brand new artist walks in and say, Hey, what's up, man? What's up, y'all? Never love to do. I'm so and so. DJ Clueless. I'm so saying I got love for the coach for them. Now that I'm just trying to make my own name in the game. Now that I'm not. Right. His respect level is already going to be there. Because right. he has character. He came in with character. Mm -hmm. Now, if he walk in and he say, Man, I'm DJ Clue, this man, like, man, I'm trying to bring some new to the city. It ain't about no switch houses, it ain't about no DJ Clue, this is about me. Oh, now, man. it's a problem. Yeah. You feel yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's just how I look at it, and that's how I just be on care. Uh, you know, same with me. So, so yeah. in Houston, 
it was like a north and south type thing. But at that time, what was going on, give y'all history of it. Stealing and jacking slabs was the key. Right. Uh -huh. See, everybody could ride slabs back then. Exactly. Mm -hmm. You had to be a real N-I-G-G-A yeah. to pull yeah. those swingers in your driveway. Yeah. Because if you want that a real, they gonna come, come take you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They'll get you up off of that. You, people didn't even think to put them on PT Caruso. Right, right. Because it was like, that's like walking outside Nick. It was some <laughs> shit you just don't do. That's how it was with the slab game. Right. So what happened was, some people on the south side start, you know, stealing from the south side. Yeah, yeah. But they'll steal and strip the swingers off the car and everything. But then they're gonna park the car on the north side. Yeah. Mm. So now, when the police find the car, your car was found on North Lockwood for color. It's like, damn, man. Boy from the mountain stole my car. So that just, just you know, the whole time you about on the next street still in your car. So it was <laughs> super <laughs> big, right? So I was like, man, I want, I want to do something with a North and South song. I said, I need somebody from the North. You had your regulars from the North, but I wanted somebody new. I say, man, give me one of those switch house tapes. I listen to every day. I said, this nigga with the deep voice. Yeah. Said, Which one is him? They said, that's him too. I said, that's him. I want him. Call him, get him over there. He come over there. Slim, I'm finna get you, boy. He come over there with some big overalls on. <laughs> man, the cowboy here, the cowboy bear buddies with big overalls on. The, 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 the raggedy regal, man. The hood regal, man. We love What up, Jay? I was like, what up, my G? So we did Brave the Face. Yeah. Man, the song was so good and it's awesome. so, so catchy for the culture. We back though and did the scourges. Yeah. Yeah. And then when, when me and Rick shot fell out with the label, I was like, man, I'm doing my own thing. He was like, I never forget, we was at a show with Dallas. He said, say, G, man, this level of us, we get paid a dollar a show. So we need a hundred dollars each. Cause they was all young, just coming up as hard. He like, man, I'm trying to do my own thing. I said, well, shit, I got probably well, man, I'm trying to do my own thing. So we just went in there, that's how we played the box on dollar, you know what I'm saying? But that just kind of created more, more love for both sides. You know what I mean? Man, it ain't nothing to be for that. You know what I'm saying? Like, you look at, What's going on in the world today? It's so crazy, man. You know what I'm saying? You see your boy like, just go to Wild House. You just go to Wild House, shoot up some people. And it should be done. Mm -hmm. People beat, beef over anything nowadays, man. They, they just don't make no sense. Yeah. yeah. But it be brought to, brought to see this. Y'all did. I was a kid coming up during that time period. So to see that, it was a point in time we couldn't even listen to Switch House track, like tapes. It was like, bro, I'm not gonna get caught listening. I have to listen to that in like in secrecy, cause man, yeah. my school was like, bro, you can't listen to that. And then when he came out with that, it was like it was good for the city, man. Yeah, man. I, I me and Michael Watts have always been cool. That's dope. People from the south would automatically hate on Watts. Yeah, for sure. Thinking like, I, well, y'all get so much history. Y'all got a bunch of followers. Y'all a good show. <laughs> <laughs> y'all get some real history over here. Look, I tell Screw one day, and, and see your character never went down. Cause you didn't album me, girl. You <laughs> <laughs> over here sneaking up, pulling up. Hit, 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 hit my ear, hit my ear. Hit my ear. <laughs> <laughs> just hit me, just hit me. It ain't half an hour. It ain't half an hour. It ain't just not quite half an hour. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, look, I'm at Screw House. I said, say, man, you got to, uh, man, you need to get to, um, I don't know what they used to call them. That's when they first had this, the turn, uh, the CD turntables. Oh, of course, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, so I tell Screw, I said, say, man, you need to get the CD turntable. Yeah, that's correct. I ain't that shit. <laughs> I say, man, Michael Watts get to play all the new, new songs. Right. Because, see, at that time, they was backing up on vinyl. Right, yeah. You know, it was mostly DJs who get CD singers. So, I'm a rapper. I want to rap on all the new instruments. Yeah. I can't get them. Because they not sending them on wax. So I'm telling oh. the school, I'm like, man, we need to see these, man, so you can have a new instrument. He's like, man, I ain't doing it. <laughs> you know, I'm turntables. And right at that time, as soon as school passed, so many people just on the south side, just, you know, it's just a normal thing. They felt like if it wasn't DJ Screw, they was gonna hate on me. Yo, for sure, for sure, for sure. And, so, so. and you know, Watts, all he was doing was keeping the culture alive. Right, right, right. Saying, yeah, you gotta look like you got polo, yeah, and you think. It's, it's right. always something else. You gotta be somewhere, somewhere. Yeah. So me and him has always been friends and stayed working. But one quick story, 
Now there was one DJ who screwed screw on the kid. Ooh. He was gonna try to beat him up. I think Screw did beat him up. Screw beat him up. Cause his he would do his tapes like this. You know what I'm saying? That boy here. Yeah. He yeah, just works. He taught exactly like Screw used all the terminology of Screw. He was copying Screw. Um, you feel what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, DJ ain't get 47. I don't know if he, he's still living where he at, but Screw don't want to say. Everybody knew that. Everybody knew that. Hey, hey boy, he would chase that guy. Boy, he had to get away. He had to leave the DJ game alone. Because he was copycat. Why is that copycat? Right. Why just was slowing down? You know, and here's a real tip of the history. The first DJ that was ever known that I heard of. That was slowing down the mixing was DJ Dallas Scott. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? He was legendary. Yeah. That's before school. Yeah. You feel yeah. what I'm saying? Yes. Let T be. Yeah. yeah. He is D and here talking like Mr. Hill over yeah. there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I missed him. <laughs> Be over there giving knowledge, man. Like that so. is like the, the knowledge that you're giving and the stories that you're telling, bro. I like I I, I can sit here and listen to you oh, all day. Yeah. 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 I can't wait to get like Gary V there. Yeah, and I'm gonna be charging to speak. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I'm like, right now. Yeah, right. But look, look, you you got it. Like you don't like the way that you have the room and control. Like, yeah, everybody's right. hanging on to your every word. Yeah, you can do it now. Appreciate you. Yeah. You can do it now. Yeah. Yeah. Appreciate, you. Appreciate you. Now, Southside still hope. Southside still holding. Yeah. Hey, talk about it. <laughs> I I met uh, Ill Fate producer. He's he's Ill Fate. Yeah, he's originally from Venezuela. He's been in Houston most of his life. I was at uh, South by Southwest three years, like three years ago. And he came up to me and said, Say, G, you one of my favorite artists from SUC. He said, Hey, he said, I'm just telling you, man, I, I really love your music. He said, I'm a producer. And I just want nobody to just bless you with some tracks, you know? Mm -hmm. Just send you a couple tracks. So many producers send me tracks. Mm -hmm. You know, I go through them, some move me, some don't. This particular track, uh, the beat, was called South South Stone. You know? Yeah, yeah. I I have I have so many songs that are so great mm -hmm. because the producer named the beat to me. Mm. Cause to me it's something like sending me into a place. Right. You feel me saying? Right. I automatically I'm automatically transformed into that mode. Right. Same as with acting. So when he sent me the beat for South South Stone, I never did. I'm I'm sitting at the table. Uh, I ain't writing. I just I just did the cadence to it. I never forget. My wife say, Southside still ho. People don't even say that word no more. <laughs> and if I would have let her <laughs> make me change that up, it wouldn't have been a hit. Yeah, so true. when she said it, I, I say, man, I don't care. I'm going to make them say it. I'm going to make them say it again. And I went to the studio. And I, man, I sent the song. Hey, look. Wait till y'all hear the remix. The remix is amazing. I can't wait till y'all play it. But I sent the song to so many people. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna leave nobody out. I'm on the air right now. You know, some people got the picture and some people didn't get the picture. Uh -huh. So, you know, the song to me was about paying homage to the true Southside. I agree. The people that I named in those songs, they are bigger legends than the rappers. Mm -hmm. The people that are the Corey Plus, these, mm -hmm. you know, shout out to Paul Wild. You know, I seen him, I had to explain to him, you know, because people on Instagram are like, me and he must be hating on. I wanted Paul Wild on the remix. I tried to get him on the remix and in the video. That was no hate. That was just saying, slam God at that time. Somebody like Corey Plus, yeah. you know, just Obama, uh, uh, poor info, he got out of office, he'll be home real soon. But this kid, this kid is like 16, 17, with $50,000 in the Cadillac. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about whatever car he was, that slab was to the max. Mm -hmm. They didn't go spend, they didn't need yeah, 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 it's real slab. There's so many of those people that was like that out there, you know. And I just paid homage to those people. And some are here, some are gone. And those names and those certain hoods and words, the people I named that stayed and locked up, he give people the goosebumps. Yeah, he gave me the goosebumps on the right, right. So, you know, that's kind of how I do my music. And I don't care what song it is. If the song is about cornbread, I'm going to try to make you 
Thank you, eat some cornbread. Yeah. Yeah. I love it. <laughs> <with this. laughs> that's how I did with Southside said, Hold it. And man, when I tell you, everybody I played it for, they went bananas. Yeah. You know, the video right there almost at 2 million. Yeah. And, 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 so, you know, it's just a beautiful thing. Yo, 100,000 don't try to meet me. And the way you just said that, I was like, if I think about every song that I've heard from ESG, it made me do something. Like, right. yeah. man, I probably got a ticket from going lane to lane, yeah. you know, yeah. and on track, go, put your hands oh, you up. Put your hands up. Like, that was my hit. Like, man, <laughs> man, it make you just like, you got to be aggressive. Yeah. Like, man. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> And I was like, I was telling them, I was like, the fact that my my sister don't even listen to rap, uh-huh. but if you put on man, she can rap your verse word, yeah, word for right. word. And she was like, she was. It's only it's only like two songs. It's that and the most city down freestyle that she can rap yeah, yeah. word for word. Wow. So I was like, that's crazy. That's uh-huh. dope. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man, man. The producer, shout out Sean Solo. You know, Drake reused uh, Swaggy Wayne, him and Wayne for that hype for sure. Did. So so y'all download that because that helps us too. Yeah, but uh. When Solo did the beef for Swain, like, he didn't like the beef. Yeah, he like, I don't really like it. Mm-hmm. Pow, he went. Youngster had uh, Sean Blaze, who did get your hands up. He gave the beat to Youngster. Word? You know, he was like, well, these are the beats that Youngster them did, that did pick. And that beat was one of the beats. Oh, oh so I, yeah. Oh, <laughs> I, 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 I heard and heard it say, oh, that's what they're saying to me. Come on, you know what I'm saying? It's crazy like that with a bunch of something. But yeah, man, that's those uh man is by far my best uh performance song for crowds. Mm-hmm. Cause I don't care. It'd be so crazy. I, I I love I love all cultures. You know, it, my Hispanic fans are amazing. Yeah, they man. are they are deep. I am half Hispanic, if you can <laughs> but, but 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 it's I love it. I love my black and my Hispanic fans. Yeah. But man is the one song that every other race try to sing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> man, I be dialing right, man. All the time, I find that blonde right on the front row. I got that night, night man. <laughs> you know, so, you know, man, a great performance song, though. You know what I'm saying? So, speaking of man, what happened to you in the video? Yo, man, they, they owe me money. <laughs> oh, oh. Yeah, it fit me. You know, me and D. Reggae fell out at the time. You know, Rich, oh. I reckon we cool now, but hey, at that time, hey, I, I'm about to deal with it. So, I have principles and morals. Definitely. Uh, you know, so if I would have went to the video, it would have been like, it's okay to rob me. I'm going to reach in my pocket. So, you know, I had to like, oh, man, I'm going to stand up for something. You know what I'm saying? Every time. So, I, unfortunately, I love the Pope. I love Big Mo. You know, Big Mo, my brother. You know, that we did a song together. Hey, man, I wasn't going to come to the video at, at, at that time because yeah. I was heated. You know, we, we had some stuff going on. It wasn't their fault. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, it would have been benefit the person who I had the problems with. So, you know, I've always been one of them kind of artists, man. You know, that's why it took me a little longer. For people that's like not involved in street music or the culture, yeah. that maybe corporate is or working is, it took them longer to catch me or yeah. to see me. Because right. I've never been, you know, people be like, hey man, so and so, so and so, shoot the video right there on South Main. Be the biggest artist in the world. I ain't going unless. For real, I ain't going on this, you know, like, I'm just bougie like that, I guess. <laughs> and I've been invited or yeah, they know I'm coming. Some people would just show up to stuff and feel like they entitled, like, hey man, put me out in front of the video. Uh-huh. I just never been one of them kind of dudes, you know what I'm saying? Like, if somebody say, hey man, we shoot the video, so I'm so, 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 like, right now, I'm a goat. You know what I'm saying? So, that's just kind of how I was with music, man. I, I, I don't know. So, when Kiki heard Southside still holding, what he say about it? He got the Southside beat in it? Man. But if you know music, you can't. That ain't. That's not the Southside beat. It's not. That's who Diddy beat. Yeah. That's friends. Oh, it is. Friends and who Diddy should be mad first. You can't get that's not Kiki beat. Yo, for sure. When I'm talking about coming from nah, music, that's what we're going on. I'm just messing. Yeah. <laughs> no, Kiki, my dog. We, we already told him to do something. Kiki was probably been on the remix. He, he was busy, busy at the time. But man, the Kiki so real. Kiki here, he's like, man, I had to tell Power Wild man, hey man, listen, calm down. So, nah, nah, nah. But Kiki did. It wasn't. It wasn't just me, the Kiki. It was outside people. So other people came to me first. Man, Kiki, thank you, hating on me. I'm like, hey, Kiki, man, I'm talking to Kiki outside. Kiki, like, I don't, I don't think they say. I ain't gonna lie to people saying stuff, so trying to drive in that direction. And one day, that's why on the remix I made sure like me and Flip, man Flip was like my brother. 
When he first came up to me, he said, hey, man, you my favorite rapper. I want to rap, man. I took a flip every boy with me. Like, you know, 24-7. My wife used to be like, why you got the little boy with you? I said, this dude want to rap. And I like it. He, he really wanted to rap. It was all those outside people that started the drama. Right. You know what I'm saying? It was never us. That's why we laugh. We be in the studio now. We laugh. We wrangle each other. We like, damn, man, this shit feel like old times. Right. You know what I'm saying? Just, all the artists that I handled, that's kind of like that. You know, it was always somebody around. Right. Saying something. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, it's like, uh, say if y'all work together. Every time uh, when you leave out your room, he back here with the camera. He tell me, he said, man, man, you be trying to take your shine. Yeah. So now you in bed, wrong, cheated, right? Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Right. That's kind of what it was. And like I had a homeboy. I love him to death, my dog. He, he was with me on my journey. He from the book, though. Mm-hmm. He just didn't like he used to be. You know what I'm saying? He used to be like, man, y'all that old man, it's you see, man, I don't man, forget all of me, man. Go on. I'm like, man, this is far. We, we, we rock it. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Hard. So it was just always outside people that. Started that. That's kind of what happened with the kid. But kid, right. you know, it's kind of way. I never forget. We on the radio station, and one and somebody say, "Uh, E-Z, uh, hey man, that sounds sounds still holy blowing up, man. That's that Kiki sample." I was like, "You saying it in the you saying it in the wrong way." Right. Yeah. You feel me? Mm-hmm. When I when the, the song when the beat came to me, what kind of sounds that still? Right. The dawn didn't even cross my mind. The only time he crossed my mind when I say the same who you mean. Um, how more broke King and Patty at? You feel what I'm saying? That part of, didn't even equate to my mind. Then when I seen it, the dude say it like that, I was like, oh, that's how that shit come up. Right. Same way, um, I heard you shit like Pop Wild. I said, man, I'm so far. Boy, I've been calling you. Yeah. He like, man, I ain't gonna lie. People going on my Instagram talking about, man, you must be hating. I'm like, how hating if I told you to come be on the remix and be in the video? Right. I'm not gonna tell you. I say, I say, you know what I wanted you to do? When it's say, like, I ain't hating on your Pop Wild. Corey Blunt, Big Floyd, do a slam guy. Nah, Big Floyd, Big Floyd is legendary. Big Floyd is who Scarface raps about. Uh, Big Floyd had uh, the, the, uh, the first, when you talk about uh, Surround by Sound, mm-hmm. that's because his shot was called Surround by Sound. You feel what I'm saying? That's the culture of the slams. Them are the kings. So I say, uh, Big Floyd, do a slam guys. I say, I wanted you to come right in and say, hold up, E and G, what it do? It's Pow Wow, baby. I'm a slam guy, too. That, that just would have been hard. That would have been hard. Isn't it? Yeah. Isn't it? That would have been so amazing on the video. Yeah. But, yeah. people. People, yeah. Indeed. Yeah. 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 Uh, negative energy. Right. Man, he, he hating on you. No, I'm not. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. That's, that's what I mean. All right, so we're about to go ahead and get into this song that we've been talking about. So everybody can hear what we're talking about. It's Southside Still Holding ESG. Catch 22 Radio Show. We'll be back. Chill, what it do, man? This your boy ESG. Right about now, you rocking with Kids 22. Bow. Some song made you perform. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. Now, ESG, you do a lot of performing. And you said you got a lot of artists that perform. Uh, <laughs> y'all thought I was gonna forget it. Y'all don't never forget. Y'all shoot the shot. So I have a group. Uh-huh. Um, my name is Thick and Nasty. Oh no. We are Thick and Nasty. 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 That's not a group. <laughs> it is a group. Drew, tell me what we do. So look, look. look. First of all, we both Thick and Nasty. Don't try to split us up. Just try to pick out who's them. Yeah. Uh, secondly, uh, we background rappers. Yeah. Um, so like you see how you was just performing outside of the whole Yeah. I will be performing behind you. I'm not a hype man because I would have my own verse, own but verse. it will flow together. You know okay. what I mean? So like flow. Like flow. You. you know what I mean? So since you're performing every weekend <laughs> and you always on the stage and you know you looking for upcoming artists, you yeah. know we do everything. We act. We act. We background sing. We, we background dance. rap. We dance. We do whatever all. you need. You know. I need actors. Oh, okay. okay. I mean, now, I got. I got plenty. Of, not that. Not that. You can. That's gonna bump you up the ladder fast. Okay. You know? I'm nervous about this. <laughs> <laughs> right on, right on. But for the comedy, but for the comedy and TV, yeah. I'm gonna keep this. Like, like, for it is, it was just thinking nasty. Lying and mercy. Yeah. I don't know what's gonna come on stage. <laughs> what y'all gonna do on the stage? It may be the best show you'll ever see. <laughs> You got to do new movies? Coming out, new movies that you're yeah, working on? Yeah, man. We got a mini series that, uh, that just dropped called uh, 
for my child. Shout out Miss Cat. Uh, the big movie coming out uh, June 27th. Okay. Sunday News, man. Kiki in it, uh, everybody in the band. Uh, the whole thing is down there, man. Caleb Johnson is, uh, uh, he co starred the movie. The movie is kind of like if you think of Friday in Houston. Mm-hmm. He's my cousin, he's from Mississippi. I pick my pants away from you. Yep. So he come from Mississippi to spend the weekend for the film. So when he come, he don't know nothing about the slab culture, the school culture, the drink culture, the Houston period. So his whole weekend, our whole weekend is filled with me trying to survive from mm-hmm. him almost getting us killed and oh, everything man. else that goes on for the weekend. We got Demo from June 27th, I got 39 Cent, up and coming comedian. I got Jeff Shelley in there, man, a great up and coming comedian, man. We got Gillo, we got Ladera, the comedian in there. Man, there's so many people, man. I, I, I don't want to just leave nobody out. Shout out Squirtle, uh, Squirtle Montana, great up and uh, That will be dropping June 27th in Houston. There's only 500 tickets available. Uh, I don't know how to get the level, but it's going to be a remote stick. We're showing that before the school fest concert, which will be, I think, inspired with all of us. So, then Monday, the movie concert is in uh, Dallas to the movie concert. We announced Wednesday on June 27th at the movie and the concert. Oh, we got to be there. Y'all. We got to be there. Yeah, 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 Jeff, Jeff has been up here. Jeff Cohen's yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, Jeff. Yeah, Jeff's yeah. in Lil Darrell. He's stand up. He's stand up. Yeah, 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 he is yeah, so funny. Yeah, 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 yeah. On 39 <laughs> Cent, we got to highlight you, man. Go yeah, highlight you, man. Yeah, man. This time I do it. I did them one this week at Duck Out, but I do them on pop up. When I do my next big one is in, uh, not to show but when I do another stand up, y'all gotta come down. Don't you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, definitely. Well, thank you so much, ESG. Where yeah. can everybody find you on social media? My, it's simple ESG World. Yeah. All one word ESG World. If you need uh, the book, you can book ESG World at gmail.com. Uh, and that's pretty much it, you know. Uh, Follow my son, King Bryson Official. Follow my squad, it's Trill Republic. Uh, Republic with a K. Uh, we got J King, we got the Yo Gunner, uh, J Trunnius, uh, my boy Trill and Jalo, follow all of them. Uh, if you need magic, nah, I ain't gonna give you a magic. If you need to reach out to management, you hit my management, y'all. Uh, uh, it's still Boogie and G World. There's a fish rocket, rocket. rock it. Yeah. You know, and uh, Double up, man. Shout out to uh, Lil Flip. He just dropped the project. Me and Kiki got the Free Time Kings coming out. We got the Sunday Dips coming out. Woo. Make sure you go download Southside Still Holding. That's on iTunes everywhere. Yeah. The remix has just dropped on iTunes everywhere. Yeah. Uh, the video will be dropping. Uh, Bun B, Lil Flip, Lil O, Trey Po, uh, That Boy T, and Slim Thug. So y'all get, get ready for that. I think that's pretty much it. Yeah, so many. Just follow my page, follow the Twitter. Yeah, yeah. I, I follow you too, but before you leave, man, what's up with you and Starbucks, bro? They were telling with you about the Starbucks. I was, uh, I'm, no, I never get it. Shout out to Chile. Chile, you just worried about it. Uh, Chile, he pulled up on me one day. I had a cool squad in his hand. <laughs> and I had Starbucks in his hand. And he's like, it just feel funny. I mean, what you mean? Yeah, she was talking. I was like, what's up? She's been living in Paris since 2001. <laughs> <laughs> I, I used to get mad when white people would like they wouldn't. But yeah. I don't mind. Now, I don't know what they want about me. <laughs> so she gets, he just starts to start yeah. start yeah. 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 <laughs> My homeboy, my homeboy tell me the other day, he's like, man, I ain't going to have stuff because he don't understand. He never even had a pedicure. Oh, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't take his words here. Yeah. <laughs> he's like, he's like, he's like, man, I ain't gonna start with no way. Everybody just go there and pay it five, six, seven dollars for the coffee. I say, hold up, son. <laughs> the coffee is only two dollars. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. We don't go there for coffee. Uh-huh. I go to get me a white mocha with whipped cream and fries. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I'm gonna grab me a fried Yeah. I'm gonna grab with extra dust on the side. I eat stones. Yeah. Yeah. I never knew what a stone was. That's I was like, what the heck? I'm stone. Man, I'm always good as hell. Yeah. <laughs> so, I am a booze and nothing. Yeah. <laughs> so, the day that it happened, you know, I, I, man, I'm following my own mind. The day that it happened, I'm at Starbucks when the, the, the day go on in Philadelphia. And T.I. is the first speaker who tells everybody, you boy, I can't stop up. So, when I pull my page, I didn't even know. So, everybody like, that was one person, a manager in Philadelphia. So that one manager in Philadelphia, she was racist to two two black kids, two black young men, me that 
every Starbucks in Fraser. My boy works at Starbucks. He uses me up all the time. <laughs> Even when I, I be having to give him a free code. Yeah. And he be saying, you can't use it after 2 p.m. Yeah. He still give me <laughs> <laughs> So you think I'm not going to, I took a picture with him. So I'm going to let y'all know I'm in, I, I hold my bed. I said, I'm going to let y'all know I'm in Starbucks. So I took the picture like, <laughs> man, the dude called me a cool. Yeah, bro, I see that, baby. I told his agent. See, my manager didn't be trying to keep me from ranking on people. Because I go into my company mode. Man, I just had to go off on him. I'm like, hold up, man. Dad, you people complain about police every day. Yeah. If they put a sign on me, you gonna pull over. Well, you, know, you, you, you know, you don't want to go shoot your homeboy, you man. Hey, you ain't gonna go shoot no kind. Right, you, the government, do what they want to do all the time. You still paying them taxes. Yeah. You still gonna pay your property taxes. You still gonna pay your uh, homeowners. Mm -hmm. You still paying for car insurance. If you so bad, tell the government I ain't buying no insurance. I'm wrong. I'm but that. you listen to everybody else. That's right. Yeah. But soon as one person at Starbucks, it, so I'm supposed to not go to Starbucks with one person. You got me messed up. <laughs> I don't like this. Hey, they, they, tell, they tell me, you about to go to the black house. Ain't no black house. No, 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 no. I know one. Caffeine coffee. Yes. That's the only one I know. So you talking about go to, you go to your own, go to your own gas station. Ain't no black people got no gas station. No. <laughs> and if a black person got a gas station. <laughs> They gonna mix the, some Sprite in the gas cause black folk be stretching everything. <laughs> <laughs> so I had to just go on. Hey, 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 my, hey, my drink oh. kicked in now. So I just had to go on. I lost it. I, I ain't losing, but I say, I told his ass up. He, he got, he unfollowed me. <laughs> it's all good. It's all oh good. My God. It's all good. <laughs> Need to go to the comedy show. Yeah, but, <laughs> I, I just go home folk. I'm, you know, that's what they say. They tell me I don't even know how good I am, so I'm just keeping it away. I'm just stay home. Yeah. Well, now we found these, bro. Everybody come up here. They just show up some time. Come out there. Let's go. Let us know what's going on with you. We love the support, man. We're trying to get Houston. You know, give us a platform so everybody ain't got to run to New York and that later. Yeah, that's real. That's real. That's real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey. Hey, 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 yeah, I impressed me. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Cause you know, I, I, I do my research. So I said, hey, kids are so good. I don't go there. I like people that work. You know what I'm saying? No matter what you do, man, if you rap and you grind with your craft, if you're a videographer, if you're a photographer, if you're a, 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 a on that personality, you take your craft seriously, and I support you. Yeah, that's what it is. Bro, man, appreciate it. Love it up, man. Appreciate that, man. Thank you so All much right. for stopping by ESG. Now, we're about to go into our top four and four. Now, at number four, we have chilling with my broad and you already know. Yeah. If you want to reach me, you me on the dialogue. It's going down. Catch 22 Radio Show. Let's get it. It's Catch 22 Radio every Sunday from 3 to 5 p.m. on GMTRadio.com.